I'm gonna just walk over here real quick. I got a um, I got a cell phone light that I picked up. I think it might help my there. Dude, Is that better. Dude, you're, you're <laughs> high tech and stuff. <laughs> but what I was what I was saying is that uh it uh if somebody's going to be doing some of this kind of work it's um it's pretty good to buy a a computer preferably a desktop computer mm -hmm. uh or a good laptop that has a screen on it and uh or has a camera on it and um, when you're sitting down to do some of your blogging work or your live meetings or whatever, you know, it's better to kind of be in that workspace, you know, and it gives you a wider screen, gives you two screens. So you can have some work going over on this screen and then you're paying attention to what's going on in the camera on this screen. Right. And then, uh, um, It's a natural look. Okay. You know, because you've got the widescreen, but you've got the camera in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. It does. Um, but the other thing that I think that it does, which I think is, is really uh, going to be a factor for us later on as home workers is, uh, when we sit in that chair in front of the computer, we're going to work. You know, I noticed right. when you and I have our Zoom meetings, you're down in your in your studio that you have, and uh, you're in the same place. Now, right. if we put a, if we put a computer over there and put the screens up and all that kind of stuff, then you'd be like, "Hey, look, I'm going down to my office, and I'm doing my work, my workspace." Right. Does that make sense? Uh huh. And I and I think it puts people in that mindset of hey, I'm in the workspace, but it also kind of lets the the uh, the clients that you're working with know, oh, this guy's in the office. You know. Absolutely. Like you have the background in your in your in the background there, so it. It's nice because you're at home, but you still have that background that looks like you're in your office. And it's 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 a it's a stable thing, you know. It's a it's a thing that is always the same way, right? You know, and uh, you know, versus somebody that is on their cell phone or on their tablet. And they're carrying it around the house or whatever and you know sure it's it's kind of like an afterthought it's a much more professional look to have a uh, this guy's doing whatever he does in his real life or this lady's doing whatever they do in their real life and then when they stop to do this second business or the side gig business or or whatever it is that they're they're doing, you know, from their home office, um, they uh, they're doing it on their phone. You know, it's, exactly. it's they haven't invested any money in infrastructure or they don't need to have an office because it's not that big a deal or whatever, and so it's really not a real thing. Which to me sends the message that as, as the client, you're not important enough to uh, put those things in place and, and have, um, I mean, a true business um, model. So, so for me to, uh, yeah, I, I completely understand what you're saying. I had another thought, but I was, I uh, lost it when I started talking. 
you know, I, that, I completely understand what you're saying. That happens. You, you know, I think you're sometimes you get spooked <laughs> being on the camera and it's recording and you feel like you're, <laughs> you're on stage or whatever, you know, and it's like you and I talked before I turned on the, the live stream. And before I turned on the, uh, the recorder, you know, um, the whole idea behind what we're doing is to provide that knowledge to everybody along that scope of whatever, whatever learning they are in business. I mean, that's, that's the main thing that we do, um, at the foundation and, uh, you know, with all of our other work that we do is to just really reach out and try and help, you know, the people that are below, you know, and as we do that, the people from above are reaching down on us. So right. we don't even realize, you know, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a situation where we've got, you know, handles sewn into the back of our, our, jackets you know and you can only you can only be helped i'm coming up with this is gold this is solid gold so <laughs> we have a handle on the back of our jacket and um that's how you get lifted up right well right. here's the deal if you're just facing this way at all times oh help me give me help me give me help me give me guess what there's no handle there's no handle right. to grab onto. But if you're reaching this way and you're helping one of the other ones and you're pulling up somebody else, then uh, your handle's exposed. Your handle's back here. Yeah, and then all of a sudden the one from above's like, oh, there's a handle, let me let me help this guy up. So while I'm facing this way, they're, I, you know, they're pulling me up. While I'm <laughs> pulling this other little one up into my space, and then right. when I turn around and say, okay, there you go. You're up here with me, go run. All of a sudden I'm in a different place because while I was helping the other one, I got pulled up. Absolutely. That's crazy. I this like is that. The first time, this is the first time <laughs> I came up with that analogy. I mean, I, I always like come up with the, you know, when I pour sugar on somebody down here, a dump truck of sugar comes on me, but that's the first time that I came up with the handle the handle in life is is on your back. That's a great analogy. Isn't it? It is. <laughs> that is awesome. You should and, patent that. <laughs> That's and great. So uh if you want to get anywhere in life, you know, you're gonna have to kind of turn your back on, you know, where you think somebody's gonna help you where you think somebody's going to give you something, if you would pay att more attention to give to somebody, somebody else. the next guy, then all of a sudden, bleep, you know, they can see you. Right. It's like they can't even see you if you're facing this way, begging to give me something. But if you're That's helping true. somebody else, it's like I say, I mean, I say that all the time. You know, I just feel like I'm blessed. You know, and every single day I get out of bed, I want to help somebody else. And then I get blessed. And uh, I don't understand it. I, I do not understand it at all. It however, just comes back to you. However, I'm afraid to stop. Because I don't want the blessings for me to stop. So, right. you know, I get up in the morning and I'm a God guy. Everybody knows I'm a God guy. But, uh, you know, I, I try not to get into a bunch of, you know, religion type of stuff. I, I, you know, I don't, I'm not about that. I am spiritually about that, but I, you know, that's not what my show's about. That's not what my, my deal's about. However, that is part of my life. And, and so when I get down on my knees in the morning, you know, and I'm like, Hey, let me be in your will, you know, then I just try to listen. Absolutely. You know, that's, that's my job. I just kind of ask for some direction, you know, to, to whatever you want to call it, God, 
the universe, whatever. I, I believe that as humans, we're just in, in, you know, not capable of describing the Supreme, you know, whatever it is. Yeah. And, and, and I, I, think, I think the funny joke on everybody is that it's the same thing. You know, everybody thinks their God is better. Well, they're right. Because <laughs> it's the yep. same. It's the same person. Absolutely. Or de deity or entity or whatever, you know, so, you know, but anyways, I, 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 I won't get in political or, or religious discussions on the business channel. You know, maybe we could have a different channel for that kind of thing. But, you know, all I'm saying is. I ask for help every morning as far as direction goes. And then I wake up and I listen. Absolutely. That's, that's, and be available. And yeah. Just well, and you patient. know me long enough, Brian. I mean, you know, you, you're, <laughs> you're just one of my longest, 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 longest friends in the whole world. And you and I ran around like, you know, little kids in junior high school together. And uh, you know me well enough to know, you know, that uh, it's just, that's what I do that's every who, day. That's who you are. You know that. I love, I mean, you, you I love you. that about you. Yeah. And uh, I, uh, I just kind of got the epiphany today with that analogy. That was, that was really, that was wild <laughs> stuff. That was that was good stuff. The handle on the back of your your jacket. <laughs> yeah. And and I think to continue that analogy, you know, there's a light that goes on, you know, with the jacket. You know, it's illuminated. So the ones that need to help you, they can't even see you if you're facing this way and you're directed at give me something, give something to me, do something for me. You're yeah. invisible. They they can't even see you. Because right. there's no illumination on this side. The illumination is down here on the back. Mm. I love it. It makes a lot of sense. And you know what <laughs> else? Um, now I lost my train of thought. But anyways, we're oh. finding the ones down below because they're faced the other way. That's right. But we're in a position to be helped when we're helping others. When we're asking for help or face the other direction and we don't have any, yeah, we, we don't, we don't have any way of being helped because we're not exposing our illuminated side. Just solid gold, man. I mean, that, that, I love that, it. that is just exactly <laughs> the descriptor of, you know, what I'm looking to do every day. And that's why I just had to be a part of that, you know, because that's who I am too. That, absolutely. Well, and that's a thing, you know, where uh, real knows real. That's right. You know, you've heard people say that, you know, real knows real. Yep. Because uh, after somebody is, is, you know, trying to help other people, you kind of recognize what that looks like. Absolutely. Yeah, so many times I've been more blessed helping someone else and you think you're, you know, going to provide some help for them and then it just comes back to you tenfold. So I, I, I'm very familiar with that. And well, the, you and I, you, and that's kind of a crazy way things go. You know, it's, you know, we get on, <laughs> we get on the, the, the thing today and we're talking about wanting to, you know, figure out how to do some business talk and do some business things. And then we end up having this little kind of <laughs> vignette about uh, life. But it's the same thing, you know, it's, it's all in the same thing. We, we help yep. the kids out and uh, we, we try to do a certain thing for them, you know, 
and then it turns into a business and it turns into something else. Absolutely. But I tell you what, I tell you what, I love so, this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this whole thing off okay. and I'm going to start a new one. And um, that'll allow me to record this as a chunk. And okay. then, you know, you and I'll start a new one and uh, I'm going to switch to a different um, channel. And maybe we'll get some more people that'll listen in on our business chat. So okay. can you kind of, you know, re-log in for me? Sure. Um, yeah. Yeah. How, how do, do you send me another link or? I'll send you another link. Okay. That but sounds it's good. Just, I'll do it. I'll do the same thing again. It's just, it's just, uh, we got to figure out, you know, how to do the mechanics on this to get in a different channel. Okay. So we're speaking, you and I are speaking privately right now. Uh, we're on an open channel, but there's no, listeners. Oh, okay. but I'm going to record you. this. Okay. But, uh, okay. I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you on the phone before I redo a new zoom thing. Okay. That sounds good. I'll, 